Hey everyone, welcome back. Do you remember I did a video a while ago where you have like a little video playing in the bottom corner? And when you click it, it pops up and plays a bigger video like this where I'm telling you about our website and how we can help you. Because it's another form of interaction which is better than a chat bot, in my opinion. I'm going to show you an even easier way of doing it because before I had a mini video which opened up into a bigger video. Now we're going to use like a GIF or an image. So what I have at the moment is uh, my original video that you can see on the screen. I took the original video, which when I've used Canva to download it as an MP4 file, don't forget you can do this in Canva, okay? So when we go to download MP4 file, it took it from like 60 megabytes down to about 20, which is still quite big, but I kind of am okay with that. Um, just because of what I want to showcase. But the key bit was for the animated GIF bit, I created a roughly, I think it's 250 by 250 pixels square. And I just enlarged the video into there. And I also edited it to only be 1.7 seconds roughly long. One to two seconds is pretty okay. And then I downloaded this as a, let me show you over here, I downloaded it as a GIF because we're going to have a moving image. So over here is I have my animated GIF. You can see it playing. Can you see it there? And over here, I have the original video. In fact, the original video is here, portrait. So what we're going to do is go over to our templates and we're going to add a new template. It is going to be a pop-up and we are going to call this template um, Hello Pop. Okay, you would give it a proper name. Go for what works with you. This is going to be the pop-up that appears that shows the full video. So we are gonna create one completely from scratch. I'm just gonna go in and say, I want a section. I'm really not fussed about the settings here, but if you are a little bit anal, like how I can be sometimes, you might wanna go in and just kind of like say, okay, um, we want the layout to be full width or whatever, because we are gonna adjust this anyway. Into here, I am gonna drop a video like that. And the video is not going to be YouTube or Vimeo. It is going to be a self-hosted video. Let's go and pick our video. It's the portrait one. There we go. We insert that. Now at the moment, it is not looking correct. It's gone and put it into like landscape mode. We are going to adjust that. But here's where you may want to sort out your settings. So is it going to auto play? And will there be any sound as well? Now I'm going to take auto play off for a moment. Otherwise, you'll continuously hear my voice playing in the background and having me here is bad enough, right? So let's just put it onto a loop. There will be no player controls. There will be no mute button, but there will be an autoplay, okay? So there will be loop and there will be autoplay. There will be no download button. There'll be no image overlay. If you want to do that, you can do, but I'm not overly fussed about that right now. Now, here's the key bit with the style. The aspect ratio is 16 to 9. We need to change that to be 916. Now we are getting the full height of the video. It is a bit bigger than it needs to be, but we will be adjusting that very, very shortly. You can also apply a bit of um, uh, changes if you want to the style of the video. So you might want to like make it a completely black and white video if you want. Go for what works for you. Let me just put that back to 100. Now you hit the cog in the bottom right left over there. Can you see it? That is the settings for your pop-up. It's really easy to think, well, that's the page settings. No, it is the page settings for your pop-up. OK, so we're going to go over here and now we're going to start touching the width. I'm going to set this to be VW, and if I have this as, say, 100, it's the full width of the page. But I'm going to say that when this opens, it only kind of takes up maybe about 30% uh, roughly of the screen because I don't want it to take up the full size. And remember that when you do go over here to mobile, you can adjust to this to be a different size for the mobile. So you'll have the desktop size and you'll have the mobile size. So you can adjust this. Please don't forget that. I'm just going to very quickly go back over here to the column. And I'm going to make sure that we have uh, no column there. I don't want any white board or anything showing around there. Okay, so far so good. Back to the pop-up settings. Okay, so 30 VW for the, the, uh, the width. I'm going to leave it as fit to content. We're going to say the horizontal position is to the right. And we're going to say the vertical is to the bottom. So far, so good. 
Will we have an overlay? That's up to you. I sometimes think maybe the overlay is a little bit overkill here, so I won't do an overlay. Will there be a close button? Of course, because we want to let the user close it down. Will there be entrance animation? I'm going to go for zoom in up. So it zooms up, you know, upwards. And when it exits, it will zoom in down, which is zoom out down like that. I'm going to change the speed of this to be about 0.3 seconds, mainly because uh, if you have it like at one second, you click it and it's like, you don't want it that slow, okay? You want it to be quite responsive in how it works. Don't need to touch the general settings or the preview. Now we go over to the style. I don't need to do anything here except for the close button. I'm going to make it be a white. And I'm just going to adjust it a little bit to be somewhere like that. And I probably will increase the size as well. There we go. So the button is there for you to do what you want with it. Now we come over to the advanced tab. Now here, this is where I kind of activate everything. I don't want to close on overlay. I don't want to close on escape button. I want to disable page scrolling and I want to avoid multiple pop-ups. No one likes tons and tons of pop-ups appearing, right? It is a pain in the butt, right? No one likes it, so we won't have that. That is our pop-up done, but we are missing something from over here in the content. All we have is a video. There's no call to action. So I'm now gonna go over and I'm gonna pick up a button and I'm gonna drop it in. The button goes directly to the bottom. We are gonna change that. I'm gonna change this to be uh, contact me. By the way, don't forget, you can have as many buttons or call to actions as you want. Don't go too crazy. I would say up to a three is okay. Maybe it might be see our services, more details. Um, let's get designing, whatever you wanna do there. I'm gonna make this button have a transparent background. In fact, I could have cleared it, but we won't do that. I'll make the text color be a white. You can't see it at the moment because it's below the video, but I am gonna give it a border radius of a solid I'm going to make it two pixels. The color will be a white and I'm going to make it have a border radius of about uh, 50, something like that. Now what I'm going to do is go to advanced for the button. By the way, you would have linked your button somewhere, right? To another page, maybe even to another pop-up. It's up to you how you do that. Advanced tab. We're going to set the width to be custom. Okay, I'm now going to decrease the top margin for that button because you still can't see it. But look at this. Look at that. It's now appearing and I'm now just going to move it up to where I want it to be. I am going to go over to the column, though, the layout, and I'm going to make this be a center. So the button is now centered. You could have multiple buttons. Look, if I was to just duplicate this button, we've now got two contact me's. I'm going to get rid of it because you would have then space between or space around or space evenly or a bit of left or right margin. That pop-up is now ready. Let's just hit publish. I'm not going to add any conditions to it whatsoever. And we are going to say save and close. That is now ready for us to now add to our dummy page. But we are going to activate it with a mini animated GIF. This is the full 20 megabyte video. We will have the animated GIF, which we will click that's gonna open it up. Now let's create the animated GIF. Now a great way to do this would be to add this into your header, because we are gonna do some fixed positioning. But if you don't wanna add it into your header, because you don't want it on every page, then you could just do it on the page, and you could have a different pop-up for every different page. Maybe you got a services page, you wanna have a different pop-up, because you're talking about the services. Maybe you've got a page about your prices. Maybe you're going to talk about why they should go for this. What are the benefits of it? Why is the pro better than the free? So think about the benefits of what you're going to get from it. Right. So we're just going to go over here and I am going to drop. I'm going to go for an image and I'm just going to drop the image here. Don't worry about where I drop it. It's going to be fixed on the page. We're then going to go over here and pick our animated GIF. We're going to make this be a full because we want to make sure we get the full resolution. I'm just going to align it center. I'm not going to have any caption um, on that because if you add a caption, you can use some CSS or you can use some bottom margin to adjust it, but it won't work as a URL link. Now over here, I might as well just set my link in while I'm here. I'm going to go to um, custom URL, hit the dynamic tags or the stack. 
I'm going to scroll down until I get to pop up, click the spanner or the wrench, and then down here I'm going to type in hello, and hello pop should now appear. And yeah, that's fine. We'll just hit update for now. So now when you hover over that, that's going to activate the pop up, but we're not done yet with this. Let's go to the style. I'm going to give this a border radius of about 250 there. I'm going to make this smaller as well. So it's now circular. I'm going to make this be about 125. I think that's pretty reasonable, don't you think? I did it as a 250 over here. So maybe if I had done it as a 150 here or a 125, it would be an even smaller file. And that's why the animated GIF, when it's one to two seconds, is your friend. And look, you can see it playing there, but there's no sound because it's just an animated GIF. Super, super good. Okay, so now we've done that. I am now going to go to advanced. I'm going to put this as a custom. I'm going to set this to be a fixed. As soon as you do that, it shoots up over there. We are then going to say make this be a horizontal orientation to the right and we want it to be at the bottom. Don't worry, I've moved out the way so you can see my little face down there. So when you've done the right and the bottom, it sits down there and now we can start to adjust it a bit with exactly how do we want it to be positioned. Great, but we're not done. We need to add in a bit of a hey or a click me button as well. Um, just because I think if you just got the face there, people might go, well, what's that? Um, let's just add in a header as well like that. Let's change this to say, hey, with an exclamation mark. We go to dynamic tag. We scroll down until we get to pop up. We hit the spanner or the wrench. And we then type in hello again. In fact, I typed that wrong. Hello. Hello, pop. There we go. That is now going to activate your pop up as well. But we're not done. Let's go to style. Let's just make this be a white uh, font. In fact, I've, let me just change that to be a capital H like that. Let's now go to the typography, make it be a 16. We go to advanced. We make this be a custom width. We make the position be fixed. Now, when I push it over to the right and the bottom, you can't see it because it's below, it's in white text, so it's hidden by the white shade that you got down there. If I now was to pull it up, you can basically see it now. If I do this, it's now there. And this is where you can be really clinical with how you position it. Um, now at the moment it is kind of sitting behind the uh, the image there. So let's just go to the um, the Z index and make that be a 99. Now let's just position it and we'll go with something like that. Okay. Now if I update this page as it is and we now preview it. Okay. Look, can you see I am there? And as I scroll up and down, I'm always there in the bottom of the page. It's up to you how you want to do this. You could position it any way you want. You could even position this like over down here, maybe. So maybe you've got like an animated GIF, which is, isn't a circle, but it's like a, a, a landscape size or square or whatever. And it's over here. So watch what happens now when I click it. Hey, you come to the right place if you want to learn about Elementor and get the best out of it to help you, your clients and your businesses. We're not just here to tell you how to build websites, but we're gonna help you with marketing, branding, your business models, scaling up, and so much more. Make sure you sign up for our mastery membership or get us to help you with building a website. And it keeps looping until you close it, right? But did you notice the contact me? Now I would have adjusted that a bit more. I, I, I should have played around with that a bit more and have it a bit higher up, but you now have this like- Hey, you come to the right place if you wanna learn about do you get what I mean? So this is now another form of interaction, which is so much better than a chat bot with an animated GIF, it's much more smaller on page loading and size and everything like that. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.